Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, just spilled some broken glass by accident and I was gonna clean it up by hand and I'm like, you know what, let's just see if the robot can do it for me. And I can just empty the bin and not worry about getting cuts or anything. Anyways, it's just a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna do a spot clean with the Roborock S5, see how it does. Not sure if it'll do it easily or, or perfectly. There are some bigger chunks there. I'm not sure if those will make it through the little hole to go to the bin, but let's find out. Starting spot cleanup. So what the Roborock does is makes a perimeter first, and then it cleans inside the perimeter. Which I like a lot better. A lot of the other companies do like a circle pattern. They start in the middle, and then start with a real small circle, and then get bigger, and then go back to small. As you can see, it just made a perimeter, and now it's going to go back and forth and hopefully clean up all that glass. And then we'll have to inspect the rollers and see if it cuts up the rollers or anything. And I believe this is on just the normal suction power medium. There's a high and then a max as well. If for some reason it doesn't pick it all up, maybe I'll throw it on max and see if that helps. But I think it'll pick it up just fine. Maybe not all of it because it's so concentrated right there. Here we go. too concentrated there, plus being glass, it's gonna kinda of catch on the carpet as the frame over. So it should say it's done, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna go over it again. So, I mean, I got most of it. Um, definitely not all of it, as you can see. One thing I will give props to the Roomba i7 and probably some of their other, other models. They have a, something called the Dirt Detect. And it would have detected that there's a bunch of glass or whatever material there. And it would have paused itself and gone back and forth over it a few times and, and wound up sucking probably all of it up. So, I wish this had something like that. Maybe... In a later version, I don't think the S6 does. It might, but I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to run it one more time. Um, 
So I think it'll obviously pick up the rest. Starting spot I'll just spread out this a little bit. And yeah, I guarantee this will be picked up this time, but I kind of figured with such a large amount in that one section, it wasn't gonna get all of it, but yeah. Anyways, just wanna do a quick video. Um, this thing can pick up and clean glass. If you'd like to see this test on the other robots I have, which include the um, i7 Plus, I have the E5 Roomba, and I also have the Dyson Purist 360. Um, I'll just keep recording, see if it gets the rest, and then, like I said, I'll check underneath and, and check how... Uh, the rollers look. I'll have to see. I'm not sure if this has like a double clean mode. Because if I could have done the spot clean, you know, and tell it to do it twice, I think it would have got everything. I don't think that's an option on this. Alright guys, so I missed one little piece. Um, I'm thinking the glass is very tough to pick up on carpet. As it runs it over, it's pushing down on it and then the sharp edges get caught in the carpet, I would think. Let's check out the dustbin real quick. Dustbin removed. You see, plenty of glass. Drop this piece in there. And let's check if it messed up the rollers at all. Dustbin installed. I don't think it would have, but let's find it. Yeah, those look fine. Well, I mean, that could have been from any of my tests because I, I test these robots pretty hard. But, uh, you know, overall, it, it picked up most of it, not all of it. Um, I will be honest, I'm gonna still go over this with my Dyson stand-up normal vacuum just because it's glass and don't want to step on a little shard that it may have missed or is deeper in the carpet. So these things are not made whatsoever for deep cleaning, so the Dyson will be able to get it up. Anyways, hope you liked that video. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know if, or if you have any other ideas of other tough cleanups. Um, I'll try to do those for you. And uh, please do me a favor and like and subscribe. And I'll keep making these videos for you. And have yourself a fantastic day. See ya.